Hi guys, total experiment here. Just having a go on some new um, art sheets that we're thinking about and also having a go at a stencil with spray adhesive to hold to the plastic surface. Now I picked this up from one of the spray painting groups. I'll see how it goes. Now I'm just going to have a go at flicking with a brush into this into this stencil because I think we might get a nice interesting um, space sort of look as well as the the camera shape but I can't be sure because this is the first time I've ever done this so it's a shared experiment just very very simple easier ways to do this but to see whether any other ways are worth pursuing I'm going to go through it's a long way first and I'm fascinated to see how much of this is going to seep underneath the stencil or whether it does in fact give it a lovely cushioned adhere um, Property so that it, it won't sneak under as much as it does regularly when we use alcohol inks. Plus, because of the pigment in all of the inks that we make here, it gives them more body. So, in theory, that should mean it, it could do more things without sort of. floating around uncontrollably. All of the pigmented eggs do have a little bit more control than the plain dye alcohol inks. At this stage I'm not sure how much further I will go with it. I think I should stick with it, although I've almost used this entire bottle. Well, not this entire bottle. The tiny bit that I had left, let me correct that. And I don't have another one close by, so I'm just going to try to be frugal with all of the dregs. And hope that I haven't thinned it too much because that's when I will see it going out of control underneath the stencil. So, fingers crossed for the next few seconds. Just do some over here. Mm, it is much watery, much more watery. Let's just have a go. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a problem right there. A little place where you wind your film on on the old fashioned cameras. That just looks a little bit too loose there. But if it's something that can be done without spoiling your stencils, then why not do it? Plus, it's going to mean that we can use stencils a little bit more readily than we have been. like it's not letting any more go and then I'll stop 
top and dry it a bit and see what happens when I go to pull it up. So you'll either see this video or only I'll know about it. That'll do it. We'll just dry it with our little porcupine and pig echidna thing. That um, liquid hollow I'm seeing on the white stencil. I don't know whether you're seeing it, but down here for me, it's got some really pretty blues and greens happening on white. So really, with the liquid hologram, the more plasticky, artificial, non-porous, smooth, shiny, glossy, I repeat, plasticky, man-made surface, the better. Anything dull, even if it's something like Yuppo, it just doesn't have enough shine to throw the light back, which is what works with anything um, dichroic or interference or color shifting or hologram. They all need the light. Without light, it just a monotone, ordinary pigment. Okay, let's see. Now, this is plastic on plastic, so I hope you don't have too much slipping. Ta, da da, da da. Man, look at that. Now, I'll have to check out the quality of my stencil in a second, but. <laughs> It works. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm going to go into the mudroom and, and have a look at this. But I don't know what you're getting, but I can see some really nice colour at the back of this. Oh, it does, this is going to really open up some fun for us. Guys. Okay, ciao. Bye.